sitting down now with Trey Wasser, President and CEO of Ely Gold. Uh, thanks, thanks for joining me, sir. How are you? Thank you for having me. Uh, it's always great. So I look at your background, 33 years brokerage, venture capital, 20 years in corporate finance. That definitely shouts out to me. This guy's running like a royalty streaming company or something <laughs> like that with that, with that background. Uh, tell me about Ely Gold. Well, Ely Gold is Royalties is an emerging junior royalty company. Uh, we've been putting the portfolio together for the last three years. Uh, historically, Ely was a uh, traditional exploration and development company. Okay. We, with a partner, developed a, a project in Nevada, at, actually near Ely, Nevada, uh, Mount Hamilton. Just three years later, we have 33 royalties, uh, over 70 properties, uh, primarily in Nevada. And, uh, <clears throat> and, and just this past, uh, well, la last fall, we started with some of the cash flow that we had built up from the uh, property sales of purchasing royalties from third parties. Okay. Uh, so we've made four royalty purchases in the last six months and continue to do that and starting to build up. We've got properties uh, that will be coming on stream uh, as mines over the next few years. Um, I personally really like the business model, low risk leverage to the gold price. Uh, I think it appeals to a broader set of investors. What attracted you to this particular business model? Well, if you look at uh, the performance of gold royalty companies in the gold space, and uh, compared to physical gold, which uh, is my second favorite thing, but you have gold ETFs and traditionally all your other gold equities and then gold royalty companies. And uh, gold royalty companies has significantly outperformed the ETFs. Uh, ETFs, not a lot of risk, but not a lot of leverage uh, over the gold price. Uh, there are some hidden risks with the ETFs, but, uh, uh, and then the gold equities, as it, if most of the viewers probably know, have, have not been good investments over the last 10 years as a, as a group. Severely under the indexes have really underperformed gold, and meanwhile the gold royalty companies have outperformed gold. Uh, needless to say, always, always also outperformed the gold equities. But uh, if you look at the two largest gold royalty companies over the last ten years, this would be Franco Nevada and Wheaton uh, Precious Metals. They've outperformed the S and P. So. Well, the S and P's been on a, a big run since 2008. Gold royalty companies have been on a bigger run. Um, so yeah, you talk about the chart. So you know, looking at your chart, uh, especially over the last year, that's more than sort of a beta to the gold price. You guys have been up to something. There's uh, obviously there's some alpha there being delivered. Well, there's a couple of things on that. It, it, it is obviously we're we're fast growing. We've done a lot of transactions. We spent the first two years uh, uh, from really early 2016 when we closed uh, on the, our first property transaction with Jerry, and uh, uh, mostly going to shows and promoting the company to other companies. So it's been just the last year that I've really been out and promoting the, the stock to investors. And it started to prove out uh, here with the stock performance, especially in the last six, uh, six to eight months. But, but one other point to make about the royalty companies is that if you look at some of the junior companies and mid -tier, uh, even mid-tiers, the performance of an emerging royalty company in its first two to three years is when they make most of uh, some significant gains. Sandstorm Gold was up three, 680 percent in its first three years in a bad market, yeah. and hasn't. Uh, and uh, Abitibi Royalties, another one of our peers, we think, uh, is was up 3,800 percent in its first four years in existence. Uh, Metala uh, is another royalty in streaming, up uh, about 400 uh, percent in the in the last two years. So early stage royalty companies tend to have a very high beta. So earlier this month you announced a deal uh, and it involved Eric Sprott, someone that people who watch this channel follow very much. I talk about that, that deal, that property, what interested uh, Eric Sprott in this? Well, uh, the, the property that you're talking about is we late last year purchased a 1% uh, royalty 
on uh, Wallbridge Mining's Fenelon property in Quebec. Uh, later, uh, early this spring, we were able to purchase another 2% on that property. Now, Eric has been a large uh, investor. I think he owns, in fact, they just had to approve his investment uh, this spring into Wallbridge. He owns almost, tw I believe it's 25%. So he approached us wanting to purchase part of the royalty. And, uh, uh, and I think when he, and, and in that negotiation to sell him the royalty, he also decided he'd like to make an equity investment into our company uh, for when he saw the other things we're doing. Pretty eventful 2019 for you. What can investors expect for the next two quarters or so? Really more the same. We're prolific deal makers. Uh, we've announced on our sale portfolio, oh, in the last 60 days, three deals. Uh, we average about a deal a month on the sale portfolio. That, of course, generates some nice revenue for us on the property sales side. Uh, we're looking at more royalty transactions and uh, uh, we think we'll uh, be able to secure uh, a, a couple more uh, nice royalty packages or royalty properties. We're very active in, uh, 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 and we're, we like doing deals. Well, I mean, if the, the past is, near past is any indication, you're doing the right thing. So, Thank you very much for your time. Trey Wasser, uh, CEO, President of Gold. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.